Hi, my name is Mike from Side Effects, and today we'll be going over the line node. So let's drop down a geometry container, jump inside, and give ourselves a line. And as you can see, a line has been immediately created in the viewport. And that is all that the line sop does, is it creates a line based on the values specified in these parameters over here. Right at the top, you can see we have the primitive type, and this allows you a certain level of control over how your line is being created. If you click this drop-down menu, you can see we have some options, but more on those later. For now, we can stick with Polygon. Now what Polygon does is it basically just generates two points and then a primitive line in between them. And if we middle mouse click on our node, you can see that that is in fact the case with two points and one primitive. Underneath that is the origin parameter, and this allows you to control the position of the starting point of your line, which will always be point number zero. So as we increase this in the positive x, you can see that the starting point of our line moves accordingly. And we can put that back at the origin. The direction parameter right underneath that allows you to control the direction that your line points in. Defaults to 0, 1, 0, which means that the line will always be pointing straight up. But as we adjust this value, you can see that the direction also adjusts accordingly. Now it is important to note that unlike the origin parameter, the direction parameter is not exactly a one-to-one -one position value for the end point of your line. You can see here if we stretch this up to something like 2, our line doesn't actually get longer, but the direction just does in fact change. So a good way to think about this is if you imagine an invisible point, that would be around up here I'd say, at the position specified in this parameter. Your line will try as hard as it can to reach that point, but most of the time it will be constrained by your length value down here, which as you can see allows you to adjust the length of your line. Underneath the length parameter is the points parameter, which allows you to adjust the number of points that are within your line. And lastly, underneath that is the order parameter, which is grayed out right now, because the order parameter only activates when you're using a certain primitive type. In this case, it would be either NURBS or Bezier. The order allows you to control the order of the points along your line, or in this case, Houdini would consider it a curve because it's being generated using NURBS or Bezier. Now, changing this value doesn't exactly give you much feedback in just a static line, but if we were to drop down something like a point jitter and plug in our line, you can see it jitters the points all over the place, but now if we go back and we play with the order, you can see that we definitely get some feedback. And so this just allows you a greater level of control over how your Bezier or NURBS line is being generated. And the last thing that we're going to cover is the primitive type points, which simply just creates points with no primitives or lines in between them. Even so, all of the other parameters function exactly as they should, despite the fact that no lines are actually being generated. This has been the Align node. Thank you for watching.